Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode of the vlogs. It is Friday, well done for making it to Friday. Got my Friday shirt on, lovely little sunrise there back at the house. It's getting much, much closer to spring and summer. Much, much lighter mornings, yes, but it's cold. There was ice in the car this morning. What's going on? Is it spring, is it summer, is it still winter? Nobody knows, but I'm sure somebody knows. But now it's time to go on the water, I believe. So we're gonna get changed, we're gonna get rolling, and then we're gonna get to it. Oh, yeah. side piece or some sort of testing but first we've got to fuel up because remember food is fuel and we have made it into the boat bays of leander club all the boats around and we're going to talk about prepping for races a few different things i want to talk about i spoke about prepping for races before but i think there are a few big things that people really have to keep in mind so i'm going to find a place to put the camera down Okay, so the camera's all set up there. What do I recommend you can really do to affect your races? Number one is hydration. And hydration doesn't really start the sort of morning of the race. So you can wake up and think, I'm a bit dehydrated and then drink loads of water and then be hydrated. For me, that just sort of is a bit too rushed and it starts now. It starts the morning before the day of the race. So then you can have a more relaxed journey to hydration. So you drink enough water, enough fluids to make sure you're hydrated the night before and then you're not waking up the morning of the race and thinking, oh, I need to get hydrated but now I need to go grab some kit but then I've not drank enough and now I have to go to the warm up and I've not drank it. So really a big thing is planning ahead of time to really make yourself relaxed on the day. So whether that is hydration or laying out your kit the night before or making sure you know how long it takes to get to where you're going and all that. So prepping and planning can really help make you more relaxed on the day. Another thing is, so a lot of people have asked me, how do you deal with sort of the race itself or the nerves building up to the race? or the test or whatever you may have. One of the biggest things for me is having confidence in what you've done previously. So for us, for say it's a 2K or the Reading Head tomorrow, we've prepped for it. We've had a lot of training. We've, we're just back from camp. We've done a lot of sort of base training. We've done some rate work. Um, your coach of, of having, have you do some sort of prep work so have confidence in that and your ability to use that in the race. Really, 
a race isn't so much different than training. It just, the pressure is higher because you only have one shot at doing it. But if you think about it in training, say you're doing a 1K piece in training, you only have one 1K piece. So it really is not too far off of what training is like to what racing is like. It's just maybe it's in a different location or maybe it's with different people. But really, training and racing itself isn't too drastically different, but maybe you'll find yourself pushing that, that red line further. And really, you just have to enjoy that process and enjoy that sort of feeling of pushing the limits. And, and really, for rowing in particular, racing and testing is what really is what we train for. If we do all, take all of those strokes for just a few six minute races on the water. And this that also points to another point. So a lot of people dealing with pressure, maybe it isn't just as easy as me saying, oh, just prepare and, and or just be confident in what you're doing. Sometimes I've heard a really good piece of advice so say you're in a pair or an eight or a four or a quad or a double, whatever boat you're in, shift that nervousness. And what I mean by that is, so say I'm in an eight and we have Robson in the eight and Robson's had a lot of good races and he's very experienced. So what I like to think sometimes is, okay, Robson has that experience, I'm going to be I'm going to lean on him. I'm going to put my trust in him to perform. And then for me, it takes a little bit of pressure off of me because Robson's going to, going to perform. So I just have to do what he's doing rather than putting the pressure inward and taking it all on my shoulders. It's almost, you don't have to, you don't tell that person. It's just up in your head. You're sharing that pressure. You're sharing that, that, nervousness with someone else without them even knowing so i did that before in the pair i was in with matt rossiter a few years back and matt great racer great athlete so it was it was his job in my head to do well it wasn't me i was just there pulling hard yamming on it and matt was there to make it work um if you have someone in your boat like that that can really help you or maybe it's your coach it's your coach's job to make us perform but there is a line, it's not so much make you perform as in it's just going to happen because you've put that pressure there, but it's more of just sharing that nervousness and that pressure. Hopefully that makes sense. But there, that's three points that can help with racing. Have confidence in yourself. Prepare for the race itself, whether that is hydration or anything before the race and plan what you're going to do. And lastly, trying to deal with that pressure is a big thing to have confidence. You can do it. But that will be it for this little bit of a conversation. We're going to just chill out, relax. Since we've got the race tomorrow, it's not so big of a day. And then we'll have lunch. Oh, yeah. And we've made it back into the crew room. We've got some delicious fuel, some chicken, potatoes, and veg to fuel up. This will probably be fueling mostly for tomorrow at Reading Head, which is very important. We'll talk about fueling up in a minute too. Hopefully you'll enjoy the little discussion there as well. Preparation, very important pre-race. Oh yeah. And we've made it outside of the club for another day. It's been a pretty good day today. Not too much training, like I said earlier, because we have Reading Head tomorrow. And like I said at lunch, we're going to talk about fueling up pre-race. Like I spoke about earlier as well, hydration is really key and planning is really key to making sure you have a good day on race day. And that comes into fueling as well because you could, some people like to race on a full stomach, some people like to race on an empty stomach. And so you have to plan for that. And I'm not just talking about the planning and the the eating the morning before because that will cause that feeling of emptiness and fullness but the planning of the meals the day before maybe even a few days before so for me 
I like to try and eat as normally as possible, but on the days leading up, I don't like to have too many heavy meals. And what I mean by heavy meals is meals that'll take a lot of time for my body to digest. So red meat can sometimes, or can be quite difficult for the body to digest. So I sort of shy away from that a little bit, stick to some white meat and stick to a lot of vegetables just to make sure that I'm running well and my body's not too bloated and I'm ready to go. But everyone is different and they may ha you may have your own sort of preferences. So stick to those, but maybe have a look at them and think, okay, my favorite meal is a Domino's pizza. Is that the right fuel before a race? For some people, yes, but for some people, not so much. But let me know in the comments below what your sort of favorite fuel before a race is, whether that's in the morning before or the evening before. And that will be it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And as always, Yam Squad, remember to subscribe if you haven't already hit that like button. And hopefully see some of you tomorrow at Reading Head. And have a good one.